Hi folks, we are uh, at the last um, homework assignment that will be Excel based. Um, the last one you did was homework five, which was chi squared. We're gonna do it very quickly for the regressions. Uh, we're using homework four, I believe. This is, yeah, obesity. This was from homework four. So it's already been cleaned. It's already been coded. So it's all numeric values at this point. All numeric values. And so we don't have to worry about recoding. So, but it's important to note, though, that you cannot do regressions. Make sure you read through what I've written here for you. Um, you know at some point because it's important to know for your research assignment and as you use Excel throughout the rest of your career that you cannot do um, any uh, run any analysis if these items were not numeric you can't use this obviously because it's not numeric so in order to use anything excuse me here we are anything in this data analysis tool okay in order to use anything here everything here has to be numeric excel is a calculator calculators know nothing of words they don't know what words mean what letters are and so we have to make sure that we code them um to numbers so they can use it so now that okay sorry so now that um, I've gone over that spell. What we're going to do is we're going to regress. We're going to do a bivariate regression. We're going to do a multivariate regression. Um, and essentially, uh, what is this multivariate regression going to be on? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm reading through my notes here. <laughs> yeah, be sure to read through this. Um, we're going to regress restaurant on BMI. Well, I am going to regress on something else so that you can do the BMI and restaurant on your own. So let's um, do this analysis. Let's go to regression. Um, our Y, which would be our dependent variable, would be BMI. Our X, in this case, um, we only have one X. I'm, I'm going to choose health. If I decided that I wanted all of the health, uh, excuse me, all of the variables here, including age, then I would need to move age over. Because remember from homework four, it has to be contiguous. So if you selected age and decided, okay, I'm going to select all of these, it's going to give you that error, folks. So let's not do that. Let's, you know, let's take this. We can copy it and move it over, right? We can copy this, insert it here, move it over. Um, in order to uh, make it contiguous and select them just like that, okay? But at present, we're only selecting health because we're only doing one. Don't forget our labels. What else might we need? These are not important right now. We're gonna do output range, and let's put it right here. Do whatever the instructions are telling you, though, because it makes it so much easier for me to grade when everything is in the, in the exact place where I can read it um, for everyone the same way. All right, so um, what's it telling us that Oh, okay. Oh, this is uh, really important. I'm glad that I missed that. And I'll tell you what this means. It's essentially saying that I need to select a better range than what I've selected. Why? Because I selected D, the entire thing of D. Meaning I selected things down here and it's saying, listen, I don't know what you're talking about right now. And so, <laughs> um, one thing that's different between regressions and the other two things that we've used, which are um, 
correlations and and the summary table summary statistics is that for Excel for Excel only you have to delete all of the other items that all of the values that are blank all every single value that's blank must be deleted as I said earlier in this semester Excel does not provide you with the most sophisticated um, statistics tool and so a lot of things that we're doing in this class are not really it's 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 a little bit more rudimentary and manual than what you would do use um, or how you would treat SPSS or Stata um, software that is specifically meant for data analysis in terms of statistics so the things that we're going to do now <laughs> is kind of crazy actually to be completely honest with you because i've never had to do this outside of excel so enough rambling essentially what we're going to do here is we're going to delete any blanks because excel does not understand blanks when it comes to regressions so no blanks there I think we were looking at health we do have blanks so what I want to do is delete everything not delete unselect everything but the blanks and now um, before we do anything let us make a copy of the original Okay, so we just made a copy of our original. We're gonna use this one instead. I'm gonna delete this, 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 and this. Delete those rows, because those rows have health as blank. So now I'm gonna clear that, and as we can see now, there are no blanks. And this never had any blanks anyway. So let's go back to our data. Um, let's go back to regression. Uh, we have D. We're going to select D from here. We're going to take it down to here, 997. And we're going to, I'm just going to copy this because minus that D, because it's the same range. Actually, it's not. I need to put this two here. Now it's the same range from two to nine nine seven, two to nine nine seven, in D and E. All right, and we've got in our bivariate we selected D three. So let's see what it gives us. Voila, we've got some awesome data now. Let's. Open everything up, folks. Double click, and you know you can just select that whole thing actually. And let's just double click, and it, it'll do it for all of them all at once rather than what I was initially doing individually. Okay, so too many numbers, too many numbers, folks. Don't do this, please don't do this, um, or keep it like this. Let's get rid of those. Um, two is good enough. And Excel has some issue with uh, duplicating the lower and upper confidence intervals. So we're going to delete the, the last two because uh, it doesn't matter what computer I use. Every time I use Excel, it gives it to me twice. And we can see that the value is the exact same, 29 and 31. So we're just going to get rid of it. So that is how you do regressions. This one is for ooh two that means when i recoded i forgot to put oh i forgot to um i put the range oh my goodness that's funny all right let me show you what i did folks because you can see here, it's telling us that the variable name is two, and I know the variable name is not two. So what really happened? Here's what's happening. If I select it from one, and I say there's a label, sure, it'll give me a label. But I select it from two, and I said there's a label, then it took the very first 
um, line as the label and made it two. So we're gonna we're gonna take this to one. Um, I'm gonna copy this again, paste it here. Uh -oh. Paste it here. We're gonna make this D because that's the column it was in. And we're gonna make this one. We're gonna make it one for both of them because that's where the label is and we're telling it that we have labels. So we wanna make sure that it's um, recognizing our labels. Oh. Let's delete this. Let's go here. Let's select BMI. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hold down the shift and press uh, the, the down, page down button and end. We see it selected all of it for us. And then page down button and end should do the same there. And then let's go here. This is really odd. It's not changing this for me. Yeah, I knew I was going to do that. So if I'm having this issue, you guys will probably have this issue. So let us take the time to solve this issue. All right, I'm gonna go here. We're gonna select E all the way up. Not the best way to do that, but it's okay. I'm gonna copy that, paste it here. I need this to say D, I need this to say D. <laughs> Notice here though it says obesity 2004 and it's the second one because this is our duplicate. And then I'm gonna go here, paste, <laughs> paste it here. I wanna see the difference, right, between what I just did earlier with this error and what we see now, right? Um, Number should be roughly the same. I'm really glad I had that problem because I have students that have that problem often and they get so frustrated because they're at home and they can't figure out how to fix that. And hopefully this tutorial um, will keep you at some level of calmness when you do run into that type of problem. So now we know it's called health. We can write DV is BMI. I like capital letters, so let's do that. And health is our independent variable for this bivariate. Now keep in mind that's not what this is asking you for. It's asking you for restaurants, so I'm gonna allow you to do that on your own. Um, we've got R squared. We've got, um, oh, we're looking at this one. We've got R squared. We've got the other things that we talked about in this lecture that help you to determine what R squared is. And we've got this stuff too that we'll look at in the following lectures. All right, that's all, folks.